Morning, morning, morning. Good morning. Good morning to you. We are seven and a half minutes now after the hour of seven o'clock as we turn our attention to today's global activity, which looks at World Hearing. World Hearing Day is today, the 3rd of March, with the theme, Air and Hearing Care for All, Let's Make It a Reality. And so we in Barbados also want to make it a reality. We are joined now by Dr. Mariella Stabler, who is an audiologist, the Barbados Speech and Hearing Center. With her is Shea Greenwich. We know her, the founder and chairman of the Deaf Heart Project. Good morning, both of you. Good morning. Good morning. Good. Shay, good to see you yet again. How are things? Things are going really well, Pierce. It's always great to be here. Thank you for having us this morning and happy World Hearing Day to all. I know you're passionate about this and you've been agitating for the opportunity for us to, to have greater awareness of people who have hearing issues as well. So from your perspective, what is it that we still are falling short in? Well, for World Hearing Day, the focus is on raising awareness primarily for ear and hearing care. And that is something that I think a lot of persons in Barbados need to have more information on. I'm not sure, Pearson, if you've ever had your hearing uh, tested or, or screened, for example. And I think that today's mission for World Hearing Day in partnership with WHO and the World Hearing Forum is to really spread that awareness to get more persons aware of how they can take care of their hearing, um, how they can take care of their ears, and just as the theme says, making this a reality for all, for deaf individuals and hearing individuals as well. Dr. Sibla Shea is right. We take our hearing for granted. I, my hearing has never been tested. And now we're joined by one of the interpreters. Her name is Kayleen Bangura. Good morning, Kayleen. <laughs> you know, a lot of times people ask, do they talk? Yes, they also speak. And so, Dr. Sibla, let's talk a little bit about that. You know, the fact that we don't take enough care of our air. We take it for granted that we will always be able to hear but that is not always the case is it there are things we, we do that we get wrong yes yes definitely it is definitely one of the senses that's easier to ignore than the others so what do I now begin to pay greater attention to when it comes to air care that I need to really start to zone in on for instance I'll use an example I'm wearing an earpiece <laughs> plugged into my ear. I do this Monday to Friday, and it's in there for the duration of the time. The danger there that's concerned. So there is certainly danger that's associated with um, excess noise. Usually I tell people if you're wearing a headphone, um, if you're wearing it in excess of, you know, a few hours, just take some breaks every now and again because you're keeping your ears in space. If you're wearing headphones, if the person next to you can sing along to the song, it's already way too loud. Um, but yeah, it's mainly giving your giving your ear breaks. The louder the noise level that you are exposed to with your ears, the more regular breaks you'll need to take in order to protect your ears from long-term hearing damage. Is it possible for us to live a long life and not have hearing damage? Oh, yeah, absolutely. I, I just recently mm -hmm. tested a, a 90 plus year old that had almost normal hearing. That is definitely not the norm. Um, <clears throat> but most of us are getting some hearing loss over time. Um, what I'm trying to encourage people is that once you turn 50, uh, try and get a hearing test, even if it's just what we call a baseline, so that if anything happens, we can then go back to that and compare and see how fast your hearing is decreasing, um, those, those kinds of things. So what I'm hearing you to say is that as we age, our hearing will decrease? Generally, yes, as a rule. And so in order to remain operable, in order to be at our optimum, we need to be able to, as we do with our eyes, also check our hearing. And so that's absolutely critical. When we, don't, when we find our hearing being diminished, we think, oh, there's a buildup of wax. There's a something going on there. So you know what we reach for? <laughs> the cotton swabs, the hairpin, all of those kinds of things to fix it. What's the danger in that? Oh, so many. I have I have a big note here saying you're not supposed to put anything in your ear but your elbow. My dad told really? me years ago. <laughs> um, but yes, there's so many dangers. One of them being, of course, um, 
the danger of pushing the wax or whatever it is further down into your ear and bursting your eardrum. And that is, of course, extremely painful but detrimental to your ears. Um, also, putting things in like a, a hairpin that you're just picking up from the table next to you is introducing all kinds of bacteria and infection. Um, so just just don't put anything in there. That's that's the rule. <laughs> So what do we do? What do we do? <laughs> you know, we need to relieve the air. So what do we do? I got you. How do you scratch that itch? Honestly, I just tell people if you really need to take a take a damp towel and just put your finger right on the edge of your ear and wipe. Don't put anything down in your ear canal. You're just asking for trouble at that point. If you feel the need, you can let some water run in your ear from the shower and let it run back out. And if you really feel that there's something in there, ask your, um, your GP or somebody to take a look in there and see if there's actually a wax buildup. Okay. So I've done it wrong. <laughs> Thank you for that indeed. But oh. now we all know, <laughs> now we all okay. know what we ought to get right indeed. But you know, Shay, when we don't get it right, when, we, when we're having experiences of, of hearing loss, sometimes people are not that kind. They don't quite understand that the challenge with the individual in hearing clearly what is being communicated. So what level of sensitivity would you want us generally as a population as we really focus in on world hearing day and caring for our hearing? What kind of sensitivity would you want for all of us to be able to have as we interact with others who have hearing loss? Well, first thing I'm going to start, Pearson, by talking to individuals who think that they may some degree of hearing loss because a lot of times persons don't even want to admit this within themselves or go see Dr. Stabler, you know, because they feel some level of embarrassment. They think, you know, they don't want to get that level of acceptance or admit that, you know, something may be wrong and I should get it checked. So, you know, there's this thing where people don't even like to go to the doctor to get things checked out. So, First and foremost, to those individuals, we're encouraging you to get yourself checked out, get your hearing tested, um, go for a hearing screening test. You can contact Dr. Stabler at any point in time. And also, because we work with persons in the deaf and hard of hearing community, Pearson, we want to definitely spread awareness of this issue as well. Just to find ways to communicate. We're always doing sensitization. Um, and we want persons to know that you may not you can't tell by looking at some person that they're having a challenge. You know, even if we're having a, a simple interaction, you may be in the bank or something, and the person ahead of you, you may say something to them, um, and they don't quite catch what you're saying. We're encouraging you to be patient. You, you don't know the level of hearing loss that a person may have. You don't know if the person ahead of you may be deaf. So always be aware of the fact that we have persons in our community who are experiencing these things. Um, and so that's our message today. And with World Hearing Day as well, we're also encouraging a different partnership as I would have been sharing with some of the individuals on our team and now we want to say this publicly we do have for the very first time in Barbados a World Hearing Day event and this was sanctioned by the World Health Organization who have commissioned us to have this event and to spread awareness for World Hearing Day um, for 2023 and we're really grateful for this opportunity from the WHO um, and we definitely want to have more persons in different sectors and industries aware. So we're having a really huge event on the 11th of March at the Solidarity House, thanks to the Barbados Workers Union. Uh, we have formed a partnership with the BWU and we're very grateful for their support through this entire process. Um, so we're gonna be having this event and having different government ministers and agencies, professionals and, um, and industry practitioners come out to hear more about how they can be sensitized to this deaf sensitization as well and how they can indeed use their platforms to create greater access to primary ear and hearing care for all in Barbados that's the message this morning indeed and that's going to be quite a big event then on the 11th of the month 11th of march that's a week yep. away and certainly at the Barbie, yep. at the workers union is solidarity it a public, house yeah yeah is it a public event by the way 
we are going to be having specially invited guests. Um, we are going to be making different invitations to specific uh, persons, um, persons that we know can use their uh, platforms to, you know, create greater access and, and opportunity because we feel as though persons need or in positions where they can be sensitized and if they know, then they can help us do better for our community. And so we're going to have uh, this event at Solidarity House, and we're really looking forward to it because it's going to be a lot of fun, Pearson. It's going to be highly interactive. Uh, we're getting everyone who's present screened, and this very well may be their first hearing screening test ever. We don't know yet, but um, we're really excited about this. We're really excited to be spreading awareness and knowing that once people are aware, you, they can do better. And that's the thing, Pearson, even in working with the deaf and hard of a hearing community, sometimes it's just because persons don't know. They're not sensitized. They may have never encountered this uh, type of individual or issue of um, in an individual before and we just want people to know so that they can really use their resources to help us do better for persons experiencing any degree of hearing loss or deafness. And so Dr. Sebra, could you just briefly walk us through when, when you, how do you test my hearing ability? What would you do? What's the basic steps Absolutely. that you take? Right. So what initially what I do, I, I just take a brief history, you know, ask you a few questions, see what was going on. Then we'd put a set of headphones over your ears or small ones that go in your ear. And then I'm going to be presenting some very, some, some um, very soft beeps. And it, it's going to sound like beep, beep, beep in your ears. And you're going to be letting me know that you've heard those beeps either by pressing a button, raising your hand, whichever works. So then by progressively getting softer and with those beeps at certain frequencies, I'll be able to have a reading that shows me what your hearing is over the range, um, low frequency frequencies. And then doing that, I can then let you know how much hearing loss and how what type of hearing loss you have. Now, this is open to everyone. And so it's important because there are certain industries where you're predisposed. You know, you're working in the construction industry, jackhammers going constantly in the business that I'm in. And we're wearing headphones for hours. Sometimes, you know, you, you take it for granted that you're safe. And you're saying we need to know nonetheless, un unless we've, we've run across a situation where, for whatever reason, we didn't quite hear the noise and we find ourselves in an accident. And we want to avoid all of that by simply having our hearing checked. And what is a greater time to start that awareness? Today, 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 World Hearing Day. And we want you to start today paying greater attention, but come on the 11th and have your hearing test done. And maybe make contact with Dr. Slibber or any of the other audiologists to have your hearing test done today. Get to know. I want to thank all of you for joining me this morning and I really wish every success. Shay, of course, you will keep us posted on as we get ready for next week so we continue to let Absolutely. people know of the offer, indeed. Dr. Mariella Stabler, who is a, an audiologist, she's with the Barbados Speech and Hearing Center and that is another matter for discussion as well. Shay Greenwich, who's the founder and chairman of the Deaf Heart Project. And with us also on the screen is, she isn't talking to the other than with her signs, Kayleen Bangura. Thank you so much as well. All the best to you ladies. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You're very welcome indeed. Morning Barbados comes back in just a moment. Where will we go? Tisha knows. Stay with us. Morning, morning.